Ethiopia. 80 million people. 1 million square kilometers. 40 eye doctors serving the entire population. That's one eye doctor per 2 million people. Deep into the parched bush, miles from the nearest city, Ethiopia's lower Omo Valley is a lost world. At the nexus of Kenya, Ethiopia, and Sudan, a region traversed only by a few dirt roads of dismal quality, some 15 semi-nomadic tribes inhabit a region roughly three times the size of the state of Israel. Eye doctors, zero. In April of 2010, the Khan Foundation sponsors an eye camp mission to the Omo Valley. On its way down south, the team treks through bustling markets and village centers, announcing the eye camp and screening for suitable patients. Since the vast majority of patients lack both the experience of motorized travel and the one US dollar ride fee, the team's emphatic guarantee of a free return ticket and sufficient food prove essential in convincing people to choose the unknown adventure over lifelong blindness. At the camp, mornings are dedicated to pre- and post-surgical procedures. For analysis, yeah. yeah. I have yeah. a pre-tort and I have a patanol and I have medication. Yeah. You uh -huh. can help her. Okay, you can help her? Yeah. Good, good. Okay, titi lower lid. Patients are diagnosed as trachoma, cataract, or optometry patients and designated for their corresponding treatments. <laughs> Clients transition out of their daily attire into hospital robes and walk off to meet their fate. We just got uh, a local anesthesia. We are applying pressure with the tennis ball and he's going out to the gallery, to the operation room. The continual scraping of the corneas due to trachoma is one of the major causes of blindness in the region. We didn't know, but nobody knew about how relevant it is here. There is lines here all the time. We have between one to two beds that are full time, 12, 14 hours a day doing this type of surgeries. And you can see the pain, you know, it is. Yeah. The disease is known to devastate entire villages at a time. And the only way to save the sight and relieve the pain of patients with advanced trachoma is by performing eyelid rotation surgeries. During the intensive camp, doctors perform back-to-back -back cataract operations. Hundreds of pairs of glasses slip out of the hands of optometrist Claude Samuel and onto the eyes of local seekers. The on-site training of local staff members raises awareness to critical preventative measures and sets the ground for the ongoing treatment of numerous patients in need. Surpassing all initial predictions, the iCamp team treated close to 3,000 patients. The camp surgeons completed 362 operations, of them nearly 200 cataract operations. This is the information we have access to. We do not know the experience of those many who ventured back from the camp to their villages for a first or renewed glimpse at their own homes.